Welcome Jesus. to Standing for Jesus Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm going to stand up and praise his name. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. Oh, I'm so glad he died for me. And now, thanks to him, I've been set free. Stand up for Jesus, I'm gonna stand up for Jesus, I'm gonna stand up and praise his name, I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now let us hear the word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. Lenny Hall Income Tax and Accounting. Call 377-2633. And by Nelson Fraser Funeral Homes. With offices in Martin and Hyman. Call 285-5155. I'm wading through deep waters, Lord, I'm trying to get home. But the waves of sin, they dash so high, sometimes I think I'm gone. But when I think I'm going to sink, I raise my hand up high. That great big hand of God comes down and takes a hold of mine. As Peter went to meet the Lord, I'm walking on. He looked around and saw the waves, and he began to sing. But Jesus heard his cry for help, oh, my Lord, please save me. And he stretched forth his hand to him, just like he did for me. I'm wading through deep waters, Lord, I'm trying to get home. But the waves of sin, they dash so high, sometimes I think I'm gone. But when I think I'm going to sink, I raise my hand up high. That great big hand of God comes down and takes a hold of mine. As Moses and all Israel fled from her and his men, it looked as if they all were dying and fear fell on all hands. But God said unto Moses, stretch your hand. back today to Standing for Jesus Ministries. We look forward to being able to preach the word once again. We look forward to maybe being able to say something that might help you in your life. And I know that God's word is good. Amen. And any way it comes, we thank God for the singing. We thank God for another day of life. And you know, when God blesses us with a day of life, that's a gift from the Lord, Brother Mikey and I'm made to believe our gift to God is how we use that day, amen? We use that day for the Lord to bless others, to bless God, amen? The message today that we was thinking of is, listen, knowing that God is always there for us. It don't matter how big your trials are, how big your problems are, and uh, the worldly problems are. Whatever it might be, spiritual or financial, God is more than able, Brother Mikey, to take whatever that problem is. And he's the problem solver, amen? See, we're talking about the same one that wrote funerals, if you want to put it that way. A woman was carrying her only son, and Jesus had passed by that way. And listen, 
he, he, he ran a funeral, if you want to put it that way. But he, he gave life back to her son. Amen. And that's what God does for us. Every day of our life, he gives us life. And all he asks is that we just trust in him and believe him until one day after a while when he comes in the clouds of glory and takes us home. Amen. First Peter, third chapter, I believe it is. Yeah. Uh, Bible, so we're going to start reading about the eighth verse there. It says, Finally, be ye of all one mind, having compassion one for another. Love as brethren, be pitiful and courteous. Not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing, but counterwise, blessings, knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips that they speak no good. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and eschew it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? Amen. And when we read that while ago, we begin to think that, listen, there's nothing out there that can harm you as long as God is on your side. Amen. For the scripture says that his eyes are on us and watching us. Brother Mikey, I believe to know, made to believe that he knows everything that we're going to be facing. If we live and draw another breath and see another day, he knows what we're going to be facing. Most of all, listen, he promised, he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Listen, it don't matter how bad they get. Listen, they pale in comparison to listen to things. Listen, I believe we begin to think about Moses. Uh, listen how that Moses, uh, uh, listen one time, Brother Mike, he began to go out, uh, uh, listen and look among his brethren, uh, and he watched how they were uh, uh, mistreated as slaves. Uh, uh, listen, he began to get angry, and he rose up, and he slew uh, uh, one of the Egyptians. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, well, I want you to know, uh, uh, listen, the Bible goes on to say that Moses chose, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, listen, uh, to dwell in the tent. Uh, listen, uh, to suffer persecution as a slave, uh, uh, listen, then to live in tents of wickedness, amen, and to live in the palace or be something big. Uh, uh, he had a choice, my friend. He could have stayed there, uh, uh, listen, and maybe no one never knows the difference. Uh, uh, listen, but God put a compassion down inside him, uh, uh, listen, that he wanted to see. Uh, uh, listen, he didn't want to see that happen. But uh, well, God had a plan for Moses years and years ago. Uh, uh, listen, when he took him up, uh, uh, listen, drawed him up on a mountain, he began to see a bush burning. Uh, uh, Brother Mikey, now I need you. Uh, uh, listen, your prayers, Brother Mikey, to get through this. Uh, uh, listen, but I know that. I know that when he was called up, he went up to see this site, this bush that was burning, but yet it didn't consume it, but the flames were there. Listen, you know something, listen, when we come to God and give our heart to God, you know he puts a consuming fire, Brother Mikey, down in your heart, even though it ain't a kind of fire that burns us up, listen, but it'll get, it's a kind of fire that'll steer you up, listen, it's a kind of fire that makes you want to see people born again into the kingdom. It's the kind of fire, uh, listen, that can help us keep our mouths shut just a little bit more. Uh, listen, uh, and I believe uh, this might be a hard message for some, uh, but I'm telling you something. Uh, our tongues and our mouth, uh, listen, will get us into a lot of trouble. Uh, listen, uh, oh Moses, uh, uh, he began to be on the mountain there, uh, uh, Brother Mikey, uh, and God began to speak to him. Uh, I told him, said, Moses, uh, put off your shoes from your feet from where you stand is holy ground. Uh, listen, uh, and he began to tell him what he wanted him to do. Uh, to go down and tell old Pharaoh uh, to let my children go. Uh, listen, but now uh, he began to say, uh, Lord, I am of slow speech. Uh, listen, uh, I'm not of eloquent speech enough to go. Uh, listen, uh, God said, I'll send uh, your brother Aaron with you and he'll be your mouthpiece. Uh, listen, uh, see, there was no excuse. He don't excuse. Uh, well, God sent you to 
do something, my friend. Uh, he makes a way for you to do it. Uh, listen, uh, I don't care how long you've been in church. Uh, listen, I don't care how long. Uh, listen, uh, the Bible says that the tongue, uh, listen, no man can tame. Uh, listen, uh, but I want you to know that God can tame it. Uh, listen, uh, I believe, uh, make no mistake about it, uh, people like to talk. Uh, listen, they talked about Jesus. Uh, they could have uh, Listen, they told him, Brother Mikey, uh, listen, one time called him the devil. Uh, I said, you cast out spirits uh, by the spirits of devils. Uh, uh, listen. Listen, not knowing huh, uh, what they were talking about. Huh, uh, listen, too many times today, huh, uh, people talk huh, uh, where they don't know what they're talking about. Huh, uh, listen, but I'm going to tell you what the Word of God says. Huh, uh, listen, huh, uh, too many people huh, uh, listen are too quick to put somebody down. Huh, uh, but the Word tells me, huh, uh, touch not my prophets. Huh, and listen, huh, I mean, to do my prophets no harm. Huh, touch not my anointed. Huh, and do my prophets no harm. You better watch what you say huh, against your brothers and sisters. Uh, listen, you better watch uh, a lost person, uh, uh, how you point a finger uh, and try to judge uh, uh, that man in the pulpit. Uh, uh, listen, because I'm telling you something. Uh, uh, listen, if God has called them and God has ordained them, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, don't you realize, uh, uh, listen, knowing that that word's not going to go out and come void, uh, a lot of people will complain and put someone down uh, uh, because of the word, uh, uh, because it begins to prick them uh, in the heart. Uh, and they don't want that. Uh, uh, listen, but I'm telling you, my friend, if you turn away that little still small voice, you'll never be saved. I listen, and I want to listen. I didn't really plan on going that way that much. Listen, but I'm telling you something. The Bible says not to render evil for evil, but to do good for evil. Listen, when they smote Jesus up on the back, listen, blood. Listen, no doubt the skin would rip off of him when they would whip him with the whip. Listen. Uh, through everything that he went through when he hung on the cross. Uh, uh, listen to the ver words that he said. Uh, he said, Father, forgive them. <laughs> for they don't know what they do. Uh, listen, uh, if they would have fully known according to the word of God, uh, they would not have crucified him. Uh, listen, <coughs> but not wanting to believe. Uh, listen, the church leaders of that day didn't want to believe. Uh, uh, listen. I want you to know, uh, listen, Jesus is coming back, Brother Mikey. I believe the skies can split any moment. I, I believe, uh, listen, a trumpet can sound uh, any moment. Uh, listen, and the Bible says when that trumpet sounds, uh, that the dead in Christ, uh, they'll rise uh, first. Uh, and them which are alive and remain uh, will be called up to meet the Lord in the air, uh, to ever be with the Lord uh, forevermore. Uh, listen, where there's joy, peace, uh, listen for everything. Uh, listen, I want you to know uh, God gives us a little taste. Uh, listen of his spirit. Uh, God overwhelms us sometimes with his spirit. Uh, sometimes. Uh, listen, we feel bad. Uh, listen, burden down for faith. Uh, listen, but that's good. Uh, listen, because uh, Jesus said, uh, listen, that he wants us to talk to him. Uh, listen, he wants us to be uh, a little more. Uh, listen, than just church goers. Uh, he wants you to be more uh, than someone to just warm your seat up on a Sunday morning somewhere. Uh, listen, or a Sunday uh, uh, listen, he wants to know uh, uh, you uh, intimately. Uh, uh, listen, uh, he wants to know. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, that he can call on you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and you'll be ready to go. Uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, listen, that we're in a warfare, Brother Mikey. Uh, and in this warfare that we're in, uh, uh, listen, we got to be ready to go. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, one of the things it says is feet that be swift. Uh, uh, listen, running to mischief. A lot of people uh, will run to mischief. Uh, a lot of people will go. Uh, uh, listen, these are things that the Lord dislikes uh, or hates according to Scripture. Uh, uh, people will be ready to go uh, uh, when something bad happens. Uh, uh, listen, they have to know about it. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but nobody wants to know the good news anymore. Uh, nobody wants to know. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, how things uh, are in this world. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I want you to know that the evil in this world is getting worse. Uh, it's going to get worse according to the Word of God. Uh, uh, listen, but that tells me one thing, my friend, and that we're getting closer to going home and be forever with the Lord. And that's the great part about it. Listen, the sad part about it is a lot of people is going to be left behind because they don't want to believe. Listen, there's something in this world that they're holding on to. Listen, Brother Mikey, 
I don't know what this world is worth hanging on to and dying and going to hell over. Listen, I've got nothing. Everything I've got belongs to the Lord. Amen. Listen, my family, my children, they belong to the Lord. Listen, I gave them to the Lord. Listen, when they were born. Listen, I hope and believe it. And with all my might, that someday they'll all grow up and serve God. Listen, but I want you to know it's a choice they got to make. It's a choice you got to make, just like I had to make that decision. Listen, and I thank God for a godly mother that took me to church, even when I didn't want to go. Amen. She told me, listen, you listen to me. Listen, I made God promise and I'm keeping it. Listen, and she kept me in church. Listen, I contribute a lot of that too, but you know something? No matter how much mama took me to church, there come a time when God began to deal with me. I still had to make a decision. Listen, and if God is dealing with you, my friend, listen, you're going to have to make a decision one day. Listen, before it's awful too, before it's too late, when that awful day begins to happen. Listen, when God's children begin to disappear off this earth. Listen, and then, oh, great tribulation coming upon this world. Bible says such as men has never seen. Listen, but I want you to know uh, you've got uh, uh, listen uh, a way to go uh, uh, listen your way has already been paid for uh, uh, by the blood of Jesus a uh, uh, way to go into heaven into that heavenly place uh, where the Bible says there's streets of gold uh, where the Bible says that we can walk uh, listen on those streets of gold uh, uh, you think about it. Uh, listen, uh, it talks of a great city uh, with its foundations uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, the gates of the city uh, uh, listen how beautiful, uh, uh, listen, all that is in that city uh, that he talks about. Uh, uh, listen, 12 manner stones in the gates. Uh, uh, listen, a precious stone. Uh, people that man would kill for here. Uh, listen, has no meaning with God. Uh, uh, listen, uh, any beauty you could think of, heaven's going to be so much sweeter, Brother Mikey. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, they sing about, uh, uh, listen, a cabin on a hill somewhere in heaven. Uh, I've heard them preach, if I just got a little cabin place uh, somewhere in heaven, I'd be satisfied. Uh, listen, uh, I would too, uh, but it ain't going to be that way. Uh, Jesus said, uh, in my Father's house there are many mansions. Uh, uh, listen, I believe there's one for me if I'll endure to the end, uh, and there's one for you. Uh, uh, listen, if you'll endure to the end, uh, uh, listen, make no mistake about it. Amen. Uh, you're going to suffer things in this life, uh, uh, whether you like it or uh, uh, whether you don't. Uh, uh, listen, but make sure that Jesus, uh, uh, listen, be assured in your heart uh, uh, that Jesus is there. Uh, uh, listen, that there is nothing. Uh, uh, listen, no powers. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, nothing uh, uh, that can pull you out of the hands of God. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I'm made to believe uh, that the only way you can get out of God's hands, you'd have to walk away from it yourself. Listen, I don't know about you. Uh, Listen, but look around today, uh, Brother Mikey. Uh, listen, we're living in what uh, uh, people refer to as the last days. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I want you to know. Uh, uh, listen, we heard it preached the other night uh, or brought out in the pulpit that in the last days things were going to get worse. Uh, uh, listen, uh, that your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Uh, uh, listen, I read. Uh, uh, listen, uh, in the Bible, when uh, after Jesus uh, was ascended into heaven, uh, he told them to go and wait uh, until they be endured was power from on high. Uh, listen, and I believe Peter and all the disciples were gathered together. Uh, listen, uh, the Bible says, uh, listen, that they became, uh, listen, uh, a sound of the great mighty rushing wind, uh, and it lightened upon every one of them. Uh, listen, that spirit, uh, that spirit that Jesus promised would come down. Uh, listen, that would teach each and every one of us. Uh, listen, uh, what we're doing wrong. Uh, amen. That uh, it would lead us and guide us. Uh, Jesus said he must go away to the come Comforter come. Uh, listen, what is that? Uh, listen, what is that comforter? Uh, that's the Holy Spirit of promise that he's gave you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, the Bible says, uh, listen to me, lost person. Uh, the Bible says that he gave every man the measure of faith. Uh, and I believe with all my heart uh, that that measure of faith is the ability to be saved if you want to be saved. Listen, they say, uh, 
Well, God has to deal with you, absolutely. Jesus said, no man can come on to me except my Father, which is in heaven, draws him. Listen, but if you want to change, listen, make no mistake about it. The devil's not telling you to make that change. The devil will tell you you've got plenty of time. The devil will tell you don't worry about it. The devil will try to tell you, listen to that nut in the pulpit. Listen, they're just a bunch of fakes. Listen, they're just a bunch of this and that. They're just out for money. Listen, what I'm going to tell you something. Listen, God's people are going up one day after a while, regardless of what the world says. Brother Mikey, regardless of what the world says, they are them, I believe, that are serving God with their whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. That one day after a while, when we go up there, listen, I believe the Bible says, listen, that those that will stand there, listen, I don't believe, listen, that they'll have to turn a radio on somewhere. I've said this many a time or TV and figure out what's going on. I believe the world's going to realize that. Listen, I've missed my chance. Listen, the Lord has come. Just like the little fat man said. Just like this preacher here said or that preacher. Everywhere I've been, I've heard the gospel preach, but I've not yet given in. Listen, there's a song they sing. Years ago, they used to sing down where I go. Hardly ever hear it anymore. Listen, and it talks about, uh, uh, listen, standing before the judgment uh, and asking him, please search the books again, Lord. Uh, search the book of life one more time because uh, I really thought my name was there. Uh, listen, I was taught to be a good person. I'd make it to heaven. Uh, I was taught, listen, that these things, uh, that if I live a good life, uh, uh, listen, that I want you to know uh, it ain't good enough to live good. Uh, it ain't good enough. Uh, uh, listen, it took the blood of Jesus uh, that he shed on Calvary, Brother Mike. Uh, listen, every drop of that blood uh, that he shed. Uh, believe me, it was not shed in vain, my friend. Uh, but it was shed that you and I uh, could have a right to the tree of life. Uh, listen, it took his precious blood. Uh, listen, to get uh, you and I here uh, to the kingdom to be born again. Uh, and listen, uh, we need to heed uh, to what the word of God says. Uh, uh, listen, uh, you can be the best person in the world. Uh, you can give charity. Uh, uh, listen, millions of dollars away. Uh, listen, uh, and that's good. Uh, listen, there's nothing wrong uh, with having a charitable heart. Uh, listen, uh, but you still got to be born again. Uh, you still got to know Jesus uh, as your personal Savior. Uh, you still got uh, to have that old uh, heart rendered. Uh, listen, uh, let God do that spiritual surgery, my friend. Uh, listen, where you can take that old heart out uh, and put a heart of love in there. Uh, listen to this spirit. Uh, uh, listen inside you uh, uh, listen that makes you a new creature uh, uh, listen uh, I know when I was saved brother Mikey uh, uh, listen that I felt uh, like I've never felt before uh, I felt like the weight of the world was took off me uh, I didn't have nothing to worry about uh, uh, listen uh, uh, but I had to uh, uh, listen uh, I had to come to Jesus on his terms uh, uh, listen you can't bargain about it uh, you ain't beg still uh, or borrow another day of life uh, you may not realize it. Uh, listen, but if you got up out of your bed this morning, you are a blessed person. Uh, lost or saved, you are blessed. Uh, uh, listen, because God spared you another day. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, God spared you, lost person, for another day. Uh, uh, listen, you may not receive uh, another day. Uh, you may not draw another breath. Uh, but what I do know for sure uh, is that when Jesus comes back, uh, he's coming back after them. Uh, uh, that is not trampled the blood. Uh, he's coming back after them. Uh, a lesson that has accepted the gift of God. What is God's gift to you and I? It is eternal life through Christ Jesus, His Son. Amen. I hope and pray, listen, that wherever you might be, listen, that God is dealing with you. I let you may reach out. All you got to do, according to the Word of God, says to believe in your heart. Listen, that He is who He says He is. And confess that with your mouth. For a confession is made unto salvation. Listen, I don't believe you have to wait. Well, I have to pay for my sins. If you have to pay for your sins, then Jesus would have died in vain, my friend. And believe me, he's not died in vain. He paid the price for it all right there on Calvary. All you got to do is say, Lord, forgive me a sinner lost and all done. And when you come to him like that, 
with a pure heart, to live in a broken spirit, in a contrite, a pure, a contrite spirit, a broken heart, a listen, he will save you. You can walk away being a new man or a new woman in Christ Jesus. Now that's the promise that God made us. Amen. That's not some doctrine that some church just picked out somewhere and said, we're going to believe it this way. That's what Jesus said, and that's what Jesus meant. Hey, man, I want you to be saved. And listen, best of all, he once he saved you, it ain't if you just go and sit down in a corner somewhere, but he said, I'll keep you. Hey, man, for the Bible said we are kept, Brother Mikey, by the power of God. Won't you come to the Lord before it's too late? Hey, Amen. Won't you just come? What do you say? You... They sing a song. I'm going to say this. They sing a song about standing before Jesus with no defense in your life. But then it talks about God's mercy coming in and pleading your case. That's what it takes. What are you going to do when you stand before God? And he says, depart from me, he will work in Or would you rather hear him say, welcome in, thou good and faithful servant. Because he made a promise to us for the Mikey. And if we would try, and if we would live the life through him, let him live his life in us and be obedient. We're going to reap life everlasting. Hear him say, welcome in, thou good and faithful servant. And he said, if we could be faithful just for a couple little things in this life, a few little things, he'll make us rule and rule again. If I could just walk through the portals of heaven and see Jesus, that's when I'll be satisfied. I'm not going to be satisfied until I see Jesus for myself. And I hope and pray that we said something to help somebody. I f we feel so good in the spirit today. Seems like we've had our battles before service time today. We've had our battles, and I feel so good. But listen, if you give your heart to the Lord, or you'd like somebody to pray with you, to receive Jesus, there's a number on the screen there. But listen, don't wait too late. God's tugging at your heart today is the day of salvation. We hope and pray. Listen, Christian, hang in there. Morning's coming. <laughs> It's coming when Jesus is about ready to come and get his church and take us home. Lost person, receive him before it's too late. We hope and pray we said something. Listen, if you got prayer requests and stuff, call in. Because we do believe in the power of prayer. We believe everything. I've always said I'm one of those preachers I don't understand everything I read all the time. But I know God's word is true. I know enough. I believe God give me enough that I can tell the world Jesus is coming back and he's coming back after them that has been washed in the blood of the Lamb. We thank you and God bless you.